This one somehow blew past me at the time. I remember hearing about it and then poof. I had read Clive Barker's original short story eons ago, but had no real recollection. So when this train rolled up to my streaming station, I couldn't resist. Going in blind is by far the best way to view this intense gore fest, so I will keep my spoiling to a minimum. So let's don our chain mail, slice off some fleshy barnacles, and hop on that last subway tonight at Grant Station. And carve ourselves a witch. <laughs> Thank you, Teddy. In Clive Barker's The Midnight Meat Train. Almost 10 years after the movie's Lost Souls, Stigmata, and End of Days, to name the first that come to mind, had this almost 7-esque film quality going for it. So popping in Meat Train, which has a mimic palette of cinematography as said mentioned, made me smile real big. The intense and unique horror sequences really had me hooked from the get-go. Taking place in an unknown city of sorts, we find Leon played by old Blue Eyes himself. No, that other guy, Mr. Bradley Cooper. As a freelance photographer snapping away at characters and fleeting moments as he builds a portfolio to woo gallery owner Susan Hoff, played by the statuesque beauty Brooke Shields. She's fantastic as the cold yet manipulative gallery owner who comes across as the devil incarnate. The next time you find yourself at the heart of the city, stay put, be brave, keep shooting offering the forbidden fruit which is the seed of curiosity she plants in Leon's mind to capture the nature of what the city's underbelly truly is. This was all set in motion by Leon's to-be fiance Maya and his agent, Jurgis, who are both wonderful characters that are each angels on Leon's shoulders, trying to guide him through this hell he decides to embark on. The subtle foreshadowing here is masterful. Above Leon and Maya's bedroom door is a pair of angel wings. Enough said. Interrupting a bad situation that unfortunately gets worse for this poor gal, Leon starts to piece together odd clues that he stumbles upon in his photos, possibly linking the killings to a butcher by the name of Mahogany. That is a genius name for this character, Mr. Barker. I tip my hat to you, sir. Played by the brick house of a human, Vinnie Jones. This guy plays scary all too well. Am I wrong? Once Leon passes go and decides to hop onto the meat train, this movie takes on a whole new life. So I'm gonna pause it there. With a cameo by one of this channel's favorite character actors, Ted Raimi. The Midnight Meat Train is a perfect companion piece to Barker's short story and it's a darn shame the studio once again bungled the theatrical release at the time. This would have been an awesome movie to see with an audience. With its subtle, intense score that adds a dreamlike quality to Leon's growing obsession that in the end sits in this viewer's stomach like a rotten, fleshy pit. This is a film that will leave lasting impressions and not for the squeamish. So, if you're in the mood for a Master of Horror special treat, with eye-popping special effects that will have you squirming in your sofa lounge, then this film might just be for you. Until next time. <laughs> Life is like a box of chocolates. So click links below to be notified. Many thanks for the support, and hail Cthulhu.